Hi, welcome back to Colt KRC. So today we've got a mini wing. This is a Sonic model AR600. So it's a 600mm wing with quite a ma with quite a big FPV base. So yeah, it is for FPV racing, um, but you can fly it quite slowly depending on what you want to fly it like. So let's have a look at get in the box. So the only difference in the box that you're not going to see is everything that comes wrapped in bubble wrap, which I've taken off. So you get a set of stickers, so you can go white, red, it's a black craft, so you can have white and red on it. You get a set of basic instructions, to have to test it on your radio and how you fit the FPV equipment into it. And this is the craft itself, so let's just take everything out of the box that you get with it. You can get some Velcro. Right, so this is what you get for your money. This is available in quite a few places. I got this from Banggood because I had some points and I got it, ended up getting it for 30 quid. I think it was 42. But you can buy this in the UK for 49, I think. If you buy it from quadcopters.co.uk, I think I've got it. I think it was there that had it. So this is what you get. So this is the, the fuselage. It's got a pop-off on the front here to put your camera in and then reverse magnets hold this on. So I haven't decided what, how I'm going to do this first. I might get the first few flights up without FPV and just fly it line on site. But I'll update later on on that. In here you have the bay which is big. So you've got your ESC in there. You've got a twin connector. So this is for your battery itself. It runs on the 3S battery. I've probably done this on a 3S1300 and on this side you have a pigtail to come off and that is to power your FPV gear. There's quite a lot of everything on here. Again, rare earth magnets hold this on. Clicks into place. You have an 1806 24kV screamer. Motor should have set it on the back of here. And the, the firewall. It all looks to be very nicely put together. I think that's like my carbon fibre mount as well. So you cut carbon fibre mount onto the firewall so it should be quite rigid you get a carbon spar the carbon spar goes through here obviously and then we'll just show you what the wings look like so this is a wing the wing pops into let's just put it into here pop the wing in and the cable put the cable through and pop it into place obviously that now glues into place uh, with the glue of your choice. I am going to use hot glue. The reason I use hot glue on stuff like this is because if it has a bad landing, the great chance it's just going to snap the glue. Because hot glue, as you're probably well aware, is okay, but if you try and snap it and give it some impact, it will pull it away. So that's why I use hot glue and I am lazy and I can build it in a couple of minutes with hot glue. The other wing goes on exactly the same way. It comes with pre-installed servos that are already set up. Here is the other wing. It then comes with winglets. So on the end of your wings, these fit on, I think this is this one, and they glue into place at the end of each wing. And the other thing you get in the box is another one of these. So if you want to use a micro camera, mini camera, that goes in here. You get, you glue that together. Once you put your camera in, you get another couple of reverse magnets. They stick in here and you pop that front on. So I haven't decided how I'm going to fly this yet and what I'm going to fly it like. So what I intend to do at the end in a couple of minutes is I'll break this video, I'll go build it, then I'll come back, I'll show you it finished on how I'm going to do it, and then I'll get another video up at some point of me flying it. But I just wanted to show you the finished model first and how I build it. I'm probably going to, I'm thinking about putting a ORX 3-axis stabilized gyro in here which will just give me basic stabilization to have a play with it and that has a pass through so i can just turn it on and off they've been on the market quite a long time they're about 20 quid and i'll bind it to the jumper that's what i think i'm going to do i don't know what about fpv gear when i come back i might have put the FG, the fpv gear in i might not have done but i probably will have mounted it and i'll show you what it looks like built and how i'll tell you how long it takes but the reason I really like this is it's got these on the front of the wing so it's got nice strength on the front so if you hit a tree branch or something it's probably not just going to rip your phone to smithereens and they've already fitted and when you put some stickers on you can make this thing look quite a nice little toy so i think for the money you can't really go wrong with this so i'm going to pause it here and then i shall be back and i'll show you it built 
Okay, so as you can see, it's now built. It was a really easy build, to be honest. Didn't take long at all. Everything glued together. The bits, with the, everything with a nice fit. You dry, I dry fitted it first to make sure everything fitted nicely, and it did. I have put it FPV, as you can see. I didn't know what I was going to do. And the linkages were all out of the box, virtually perfect. So very little adjustment to do. I think I had a little, I think I turned it one turn on this one. And as you can see, I put the deck up, the stickers on, which I don't particularly like. See, but never mind, I put one. So, like I say, a quick build, and I have done it FPV. So let me just show you what I've done inside here. So if we just pull the canopy off. Actually, let's just take the aerial off. Okay, so as you can see, I put in a old IA6B in here because I'm flying it with my jumper you get these when you buy fly sky stuff and stuff like that eternity stuff so I fitted that in there I've got a Eosheen TX805 which is the only thing I had to buy for this build that I didn't have and I think it's for 12 quid they're a decent enough um, TX it comes with pigtail with it which is what I like about it I'm using a 1300 battery it gives me uh, perfect C CG and I've also if you look at the front I have put a servo connector on the camera that's so I can get it so I can change cameras and put the different nodes on if I want and I've just got an old camera here that was out of uh, I think it was out of some holy bro quad that bit the dust ages ago so that's what the camera is so yeah really easy build the only thing I've done is you can see I've drilled two holes in the top of the foam if we put it on camera, we've got like two holes in the top of the foam here, and I've brought my aerials through. So yeah, really easy build. It's made it a nice compact wing. You could fit a flight controller in there. There's enough room to fit a flight controller in. Maybe someday I'll fit a Matek in there, but at the minute, I'll leave it here. So a couple of things I use and it might be helpful to know is a soldering iron everybody needs a decent soldering iron you can pay a fortune for one this is a TS100 so these are a godsend these are fantastic so you get them without anything it comes with nothing with it so you get no power supply or anything I use this to power it so I made a cable up and I plug it into a 4003 and I get loads of time out of that but these are fantastic you can get in small places with them they're portable and they're great if you need to take them to the field if you just want to do some running repairs and the other thing I use is I got these in a kit or something these are VR006's I just have a cheap pair of goggles on me bent for when I'm building just to make sure the VTX is working rather than get my goggles out and do everything else or sometimes they used to do the monitor I just find this much quicker just helps with the build and makes it a bit quicker so yeah all in all really I really like this thing it's fit and finish is nice I'll have a flight test video up soon, but at the minute the weather's bad, so what you've probably seen, you've probably seen some planes when I haven't done the flight test, I'm probably going to have a week when I just do flight tests, so I'll put the flight tests all up at one go for these planes, but yeah, so, so in total I've got, I think, including the plane and the VTX up here, I've got 44 quid in it, plus I have the camera lying around, probably if you've got an old camera lying around, this is a really cheap flying wing, and it's made by Sonic Model, obviously part of the Zod series so yeah good thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up